Okay, that's off here, and then we'll get some questions from players after he's done. I don't know why we got big numbers over here. They feed you guys popcorn and sodas, get take care of. Um, uh, very excited to get here today. Um, uh, I've had a lot of conversations with with Sid and, and uh, uh, Spoon, and, and you know um, these guys have made some decisions. They just announced on social media uh, um, some things that they've taken into account over the last uh, probably a lot, lot longer than we've been talking. Um, and then really, as this year kind of unfolded, and as the bowl games got announced. Uh, I'd see these players all over the country. I've never lost a player early um, uh, to, to a non-playing uh, bowl game, right? So I've, all the bowls I've ever played in, all of our guys I've ever played, but that was, I haven't been to a bowl game for five years, right? Went three years in the NFL, and um, uh, my last year at Arkansas, we didn't qualify for one, and we didn't qualify for one last year. So the times of college football have changed a little bit, um, and I would see these players announce and have, you know, a flash of uh, Twitter mania, right? When they would make these announcements through Twitter, uh, and, and I basically reached out to Brett uh, about two weeks ago and, I, and I, I talked to a couple guys on our staff and I'm like, if these guys are, are gonna you know, jump into the next opportunity, um, we should celebrate them, right? We should celebrate them, we should give them a moment to uh, say their piece uh, to the University of Illinois and, and to their uh, teammates and, and a lot more than just a, a graphic on a social media flash, right? And as a head coach, I've always try to tell our guys, look, I'm gonna do anything and everything I can to build your value, to make you as great as possible, so when you leave here, uh, you can maximize the opportunities that are in front of you. And, and uh, for me personally, as a head coach, these two guys represent everything I could ever ask for. Um, uh, two guys from two different uh, backgrounds and histories, a, a little bit of journeys that uh, are similar, but also very different. Um, uh, with Spoon, he was a guy that when I first came in here, uh, met his personality, met his smile, met his uh, demeanor. Uh, I think he started 10 games over two years um, before we got here. And, and uh, But I remember watching him in early workouts, realizing the length that he had, the athleticism, the burst. But then when you really saw it was when we got into spring ball, the competitive nature that he has, his ball instincts, his charisma. Uh, and last year he was a pretty good player. I believe he finished as an all-conference honorable mention player. Uh, but something clicked in the spring. Um, uh, something happened within him that uh, kind of took his play to a different level. And I could see it unfold in, in, in the fall camp. and. Um, I, I could really see him turn into something that was just, just different. Um, and, and it's because of his football intelligence, his IQ, his awareness, his toughness, his God-given ability, uh, his ability to read and react. I say this to scouts all the time when I'm sitting down. Uh, there's a first play against Indiana that um, he made. It was pretty explosive. And, and I've said on many times, I think he knew the play was coming before the quarterback called it. Um, just because I think he had saw on his film, um, had anticipated and react, uh, been able to read and react. and. Uh, and an unbelievably talented player. Wish him the best of luck. And then, obviously, one half of the twin combination with Sydney up here. Um, uh, these these guys uh, have done a lot of special things. But I think Sydney's toughness, I think his ability to uh, grow from where we were a year ago to where he is this year. You know, one of the things that I thought was very unique is uh, all last season as he began to play with so much explosiveness, so much power. Uh, he never had a targeting call, right, and wasn't penalized. And when you play with the way he does at that position and to play that way physically and not be penalized for anything. Uh, and that character showed me the restraint that he had. Um, uh, his ability to make plays this year, especially in the second half of the season, was unparalleled for me. Uh, the positions that he plays, not just uh, uh, within our defense, but this year I asked him because I knew we had to take a special teams jump. I actually asked both of them, but, but Sid kind of took the lead. What he did for us this year on punt coverage, I mean, he was unstoppable. Um, and that's brought great value to him. So what I want to do is just give them a chance to each uh, um, say their piece, let you guys ask some questions. And I know you guys got a lot of questions about some other areas of our program, but I wanted to just have an opportunity to celebrate these two young men for everything they've given Illinois. So with that, I'll just turn it over to uh, Sid. Yeah, well, this wasn't an easy decision. Um, you know, I owe a lot of credit to my family and everything to put me in this, this position right now. And I give it to Coach B. I mean, you look at me from coming in here as a freshman a few years ago and where I am now. Um, these past two years have changed my life completely. and. You know, I, I, it's just a testament to Coach B and everything that he does. And you know, I, I wouldn't be the player I am without you know the football one on one sessions and everything that we've done over time to you know put us in this position. You know what I mean? So, yeah, for real. <laughs> um, you know, and it, it was tough. You know, I'm a captain of this team, um, and uh, you know it, it's it's not easy. You know, I love these guys, and I've I've poured it out here for five years. I'm gonna tear up because <laughs> I love this place and. Uh, you know where it's taken me uh, over the past five years. Uh, forever being debt for you know what they've uh, 
been able to give me over time. And you know, thank you guys for you know being part of this journey. You know, it hasn't been easy, but I'm gonna give it everything to Coach B and where he's taking this program. And you know, I owe a lot of credit to Coach Waltz for you know working with me and developing me into the player I am. And um, you know, just the entire staff for everything they did. So, um, with that being said, it's I think it's best for me to move forward and you know, start seeking new opportunity. Uh, for me, just to pick up, just to pick back out what he said. Um, yeah, I just owe everything to Coach B. Honestly, he just came in and he just poured into us like we were just young men, like he already knew, like knew who we were, and we just learned a lot from under him within these past two years. Um, a lot of growth, a lot of development, and. It's just been a wonderful, a wonderful experience under them. And I just really want to take the time out and tell you thank you, Coach B, um, for putting up with us and believing in us. And thank you for just giving us this opportunity to play at this next level. So um, just want to shout out to Coach Wall as well. Who, um, he did so wonderful for us for the defense. And we just played together and we all trusted in him. And we just believed in what he did. So without him, I don't think it'd just be, it would be the same. So shout out to him. But uh, it's just been a wonderful opportunity of these last few years. And I just, I wouldn't want to spend it nowhere else with no other person, with my team, with my person Brown right here. It's my guy. So, yeah, man, it's just a very sweet moment, honestly. Got time for just a couple questions here, these guys. This for both you guys. Maybe a little overlooked is high school prospects coming in here under Lovey and then getting coached by this coaching staff. Like, What's that say about your stories? Like, how how were you guys successful in getting to where you are? I just um, I just kept my head down and kept working. Honestly, um, I never really cared about no stars and stuff like that because I just never thought I had to find a person. Um, so for me, I just kept my head down, kept working. Um, I come from a small town, so not many people make it from where we're from. But the guys that do, we just work hard and we just play with the edge and the chip on our shoulders. So I just think I use that to get through where I am today. Yeah, I just kind of look at back on my journey um, and what I came from and where I've been able to prosper through. And um, being a kid from Canada, you're always underlooked, or I mean, overlooked a lot of the time. People don't look at you, don't respect your talent, they don't respect your game because you're a Canadian kid from Canada. Um, but growing up the way I did, all I know is how to grind. Um, and, you know, doing extra work to put myself in position to, you know, outwork everybody in front of me, you know what I mean? So. Just comes from that, and then again, Lovey Smith taking a risk on me, not knowing what I'm about and what I'm able to do. So, I mean, that, that played a big part in it. But I'm gonna note this. I mean, you look at the growth that we had in the past two years and what we've been able to do in the past two years as a player on the field, like productively. You know, you look at the tape from this past two years and compare it to three years ago. I mean, you can't even you can't even compare them because we look like different players, right? So, I mean, Coach B came in here and really. He changed our lives. He changed our lives for the better, and I wouldn't be able to sit in front of you and uh, today and say I, I'm I'm prepared to make this offer, jump in my life uh, without the the hard work and dedication that Coach B's put into us in this program. Hey, Devin, now having a chance to end here, kind of look back and reflect. What has this year kind of been like for you? You kind of seen your stock rise a lot. Uh, it's just been a wonderful opportunity. Um, yeah, I just, I just say that it's been a wonderful opportunity. Um, playing, playing alongside these guys, we just been played together. We all trusted each other, and I just this year took off for me, and I'm just proud, proud to be where I am today. So I would just say that. Sid, oh, go ahead. Joe and then Steve, and then I'll move on. Devin, you're going to have a plaque in, in Grange Grove. Your jersey is going to hang in, in the Smith Center for being a consensus. What, what does that mean to you to know that that's always going to be there? What do you hope your legacy was that you left here? Um, it means a lot to me. Um, I still haven't sold it all in yet until like, <laughs> I get a chance to see it and stuff like that. But just a chance to be remembered forever here at this place, that right there just holds so much weight on my heart. And it's just, I just thank, thank God for that. So it just means a lot to me. And I don't know, man, it's just it's a real feeling. And I just, like I guess I haven't a chance to soak it all up yet, but, but it's just a wonderful feeling to know that I will be remembered forever in this place. So. Just thank God. Sydney, hi. Uh, you mentioned being a captain. That's kind of like an added factor most people probably wouldn't think of. Um, can you articulate more about, you know, how that uh, weighed on you? It seems like a heavy duty, extra heavy duty decision you had. Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, I I represent this team, the defense, and 
everything that they're about, right? So I, I mean, what it just adds is it, it adds another level of, I mean, dedication in my mind to you know what I mean, represent them and finishes out with them. That's what it that's what it means to me. Um, I will never be deserving enough to represent any of the guys in the locker room, you know. So, and for me to make this jump, I you know, I feel selfish. Um, you know, I, I always put them first and everybody first. So to make this mark and you know, kind of, I mean, it, it, I, just, I just feel selfish. You know what I mean? So it, it's hard because I want to be with the guys. I want to do everything with them. And the people in this building is what keeps me here. So, I mean, it's tough in that in that realm if you look at it like that. But, you know, it's it just adds more of a factor when you're a captain. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.